today uh, we are going to show you how to measure the frequency response of an rc coupled amplifier two stage amplifier we are using rc coupled amplifier because it gives us better result as compared to other configurations and for that we will need a cro a cathode ray oscilloscope a frequency generator which will provide us the input signals and of course a two stage rc coupled transistor amplifier now this circuit has already been made and we do not need to make any additional uh, connections we just have to couple the two two common emitter transistors by connecting these two terminals this is the output of the first transistor coupled with the second transistor through a capacitor hence the name rc coupled now i'll show you some of the basic functionings of the cro that we will be utilizing for our measurements this is a two channel cro so we can since we are providing only one signal we'll use either of the channel i have connected my signal to the first channel this is ch1 channel 1 now i've connected using these crocodile wires in the cro you can see two parts here two actually three parts first part is for channel 1 second is for channel 2 and the lower part is for the time base the y axis of the cro will measure the voltage and the x axis will measure the time in our experiment we do not need to measure the time but still for reference i'll tell you that for the time we uh, by measuring the time we can calculate the frequency of our signal and how to measure uh, since this ch1 shows 10 volts 10 volts means that one box of the cro will measure 10 volts in order to uh, find the least count of each division you'll find that how many divisions have been made for each box and then divide this 10 volts by that number of divisions and you will have the least count for similarly for the time base as you can see 0.5 milliseconds is for one box along the x axis if you divide it by the number of divisions you will find the least count and uh, then you will be able to measure the frequency uh, of the of your signal now this is my frequency generator which will provide me the signal i'll be inputting in my uh, two stage rc coupled amplifier in i'll turn it on by pressing this power button as it turns on i will connect this frequency generator to the cro to measure the input signal how much of input i will be providing to the rc coupled amplifier now in order to uh, connect it i have connected one more crocodile wire to this frequency generator i'll connect both of these positive to positive and negative to negative as you can see i have provided here a 795 hertz signal to the cro uh, and to measure the uh, and the uh, of course the cro shows the signal i can change the frequency of my signal by turning this knob which reads frequency variable this will change the frequency of the signal i can also vary the amplitude of my wave and amplitude will be set only initially we will not make any changes to the amplitude later in the experiment i have set it to this value and i have set the frequency to a value of 1.18 kilohertz now this will be my input signal and uh, what i'll have to measure is i have to see what is the peak to peak voltage as you can see the the trough to the crest since it covers up almost two boxes so it will read how much 10 plus 10 which is 20 volts of my input voltage is being given to the will be given to the rc coupled amplifier now how to read if i want better resolution i can turn this knob for channel 1 this will enlarge my signal but also change the voltage each box will be reading accordingly now this will not change the input signal in any way uh, uh, whether it it is its frequency or the amplitude it is just for the purpose of better visibility now after setting my signal to 
the visibility I want. I will measure how much of the voltage it is measuring. I will calculate the voltage and this will act as my input voltage. I have set it. I will not make any changes to it later. Now I will disconnect these two. Once I have written my input signals. And the second thing I will be doing which is our final experiment is I will take this RC couple transistor amplifier and for the input I will take the probes from the function generator and connect them to the input terminals of the black box. And I will take for the output since the CRO is going to show us the output I will take these probes and connect them to the output terminal of the black box. I'll switch on my coupled amplifier and as uh, this wave, this output waveform should have been a proper sine wave but it has been clipped from the peaks. Now I'll start increasing the frequency and I can see that as I increase the frequency the output voltage increases. Now I'll move it up one, amp uh, one multiplier. I can see that the output voltage has increased still. This is the region where the output voltage remains constant so we can see that the that the amplitude is no more changing. Now as I increase the frequency even more the voltage has started decreasing. So this is how the RC coupled amplifier works as the frequency increases initially the output voltage increases along with it as the frequency increases more the output voltage remains constant and after a certain limit the output voltage decreases with increasing frequency. Thank you.